Governor Mark Dayton has signed most of a bill authorizing almost $1.5 billion in public construction across Minnesota. Dayton signed the so-called bonding bill Wednesday, but used his line item veto pen on just one project. Dayton said $1 million for additional reviews of state water regulations would have added needless bureaucracy. The Democratic governor said the bill was too skimpy, especially for upkeep on college and university campuses, and he objected to a provision that uses money from an environmental fund. But Dayton wrote that he still signed the bill because Minnesota communities need the projects and jobs. Now, the bonding bill provides $35 million in funding for two large Bemidji projects. $12.5 million will go towards funding for a veteran's home to be built in Bemidji. At a press conference earlier today, legislators and advocates for the facility celebrated near the site of the new home. The Veterans Home Project has been in the works over the past 10 years. Through bonding, Veterans Homes will be built in three cities, Bemidji, Montevideo and Preston. The homes carried bipartisan support along with strong community support as well. This has really been a community effort uh, over 10 years in the making. Without the support of the Commissioner's Court and without the support of uh, Sanford and without the support of numerous veterans and other people in the community, this would not have happened. Now that the state has put money towards the project, it is up to the federal government to make the final decision. Those involved are optimistic that the veterans' home will become a reality. If, you, if you're watching what the, the president has done along with the VA, they've put a lot of money into getting care into the community. And part of that is through the residential facilities and having places to take care of veterans. So I'm real optimistic. I'm, very optimistic with the federal government doing the right thing. If the federal government approves the project, the Veterans Home would likely be built in 2022. $22.5 million in bonding funds will go towards building projects at Bemidji State University. Most of those funds will be dedicated to the demolition and construction of a new Hag Sauer Hall on the school's campus. Over the past five years, BSU has worked to get these bonding dollars for the project. The new Hag Sauer Hall will feature energy improvements, interactive technology, and flexible learning spaces that will create a better learning environment for its students. Combined with the work that we've been doing in recent years, almost all of our academic learning uh, spaces will be upgraded, improved, renovated, and I think it's gonna create a real fresh experience and environment for our students. Renovations on existing buildings will begin this fall with the completion of the new Hag Sauer Hall scheduled to be completed by the fall of 2020. Now the Bonnie Bill also includes $14 million for the Red Lake School District for renovations and updates as well as the design and construction of a connection structure between the Red Lake Early Childhood Center and the Red Lake Elementary School. In addition, funds will go to address school facilities at the Northwest Angle Inlet's one-room schoolhouse. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.